Hey guys, I'm glad to present you the latest addition to my Mad Gadget collection, the wearable power gripper. But before we talk about its features and how I built it, we have a short ad of our kind supporters, PCBWay. PCBWay is a professional PCB manufacturer and previously provided many high quality PCBs for my projects. PCBWay offers a wide variety of cool solder mask colors and various customization possibilities for your PCBs. But their services are not limited to PCBs. PCBWay also offers 3D printing and CNC machining services. PCBWay is your one-stop supplier for whatever you need for your project. Visit PCBWay.com right now and start making some cool projects. So, while I was designing this thing, I had in mind something very mechanical I could attach to my arm. Something with a mad sci-fi look. Almost 100% of what you see here was handcrafted with simple tools and affordable materials. The main structure was made with PVC pipes and connections. This bracket was also made with a PVC pipe. High impact polystyrene, my favorite material, could not fail to be used. I used it to make this reinforcement on the arm bracket and some other smaller parts. Aluminum is also a material that I really enjoy working with and I wanted to make many parts with it. I think this was the most time-consuming part of the project, but it also turned out to be the most satisfying part. The entire project has just a single 3D printed part, this bearing block. For the movements, I'm using 3 links motion smart servos. The servo motors are specially designed for robotic applications. They have a symmetrical body, a lot of mounting options and also several brackets and accessories, such as this gearbox, which makes it even stronger. On the electronic side, I'm using an Arduino Uno to control everything. It has a sensor shield on top of that. Side note, this was my very first Arduino board, so I've been using it for over 10 years. 
Connected here are the servo motors, a joystick to control the wrist rotation and the gripper opening, three buttons to choose the operation mode, and a NeoPixel ring to indicate the chosen mode. The rated voltage for the servo motors are 12 volts, so I can power them directly with a 3S Li-ion battery. However, the fully charged battery exceeds 12 volts, which may not be good for the Arduino, but luckily Link's Motion made this accessory for the smart servos. A regulator board with USB. That explains why this USB cable. Okay, now let's go test this out. Well, to be honest, it didn't turn out as strong as I expected, but I have an idea to improve this, and it is here. It's the high torque version of the Lynx Motion Smart Servos, and I'll keep using the gearbox, so I hope to get a good torque. Actually, I need one more of this. But that's all for now, please leave your comment saying what you think of this project and your like if you really liked it, and subscribe to follow what comes next. Bye!